We will all, and are already all, being touched individually by the changing climate, whether it's air quality issues that we've not experienced in the past, whether it's intense warming temperatures that are affecting the public health, whether it's the implications of warming seas and ocean acidification on our reefs that are suffering severe bleaching events and disease, whether it's the heightened temperatures that are impacting the proliferation of algal blooms that we've seen with increasing intensity on both our west and east coasts, whether it's high tide flooding or intense rainfalls that prevent our being able to just move around our community. That's happening today. And the conditions here in Southeast Florida are not going to be improving in the short term. And we know globally, these are the types of conditions that are going to be plaguing all of us. I'm Dr. Jennifer Harado. I'm the Chief Resiliency Officer for Broward County Government and also the Director of the Environmental Planning and Community Resilience Division. And our division has been the lead uh, agency within Broward County in the implementation of an environmental partnership agreement with the Broward School District. Uh, this has been a partnership of about 12 years now, uh, focused on delivering uh, support and education and training within the Broward schools to support teachers, administrators, and students uh, in advancing environmental curriculum and, and uh, practices. So frankly, there just isn't an element uh, in the end of uh, societal life that won't be impacted by the uh, extreme conditions that climate change presents for us and uh, it's really an impossible uh, scenario to ignore. And uh, the Youth Summit is one of our new initiatives. We've been uh, actively integrating uh, climate change issues into the, the programming for some time and, and finding opportunities for young people, but this is the first time that there's been a, a partnership in really delivering a complete summit for the school district, only for the youth. So today is the Broward County Youth Climate Summit and it is an opportunity for 500 students across Broward County to come together and talk about how they can make Broward County and the world more resilient to climate change. Today is a great opportunity for students to be that voice in how to be resilient to climate change and the reality is, is the world is going to be theirs um, to lead and we have to make sure that they have the opportunity to think about these issues, discuss these issues and make plans for these issues and really focus on them for the future. When I say the word active at any point over the next 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to say voice. All right, we're gonna practice. Active! The youth play a vitally important role in terms of each young person who is moving through our uh, school systems today. This could, it may, be uh, the end of a formal education and it's really important to have all information related uh, to this particular matter as much as possible shared with young people at a young age where they're going to be thinking about their own futures. And this is a, a, a potentially critical point in time where if we don't have the conversation now, when does that conversation exist? The youth are powerful communicators. Uh, they will be leading the policy and the planning and the technological advancements that uh, benefit our society for the next uh, decades to come. And this is about empowering young people with all the information that they need so that they can be um, as effective as possible in their future roles. At the summit, we listened to the different presenters we heard different students from different schools talk about the ways that they're trying to help protect the earth and help stop climate change at their school. And we also did little activities that they had at the table and came up with our own ideas of what we could do, what we could bring back to our school to help the environment, help our school's environment, and overall just help the earth. So doing the How Low Can You Go, the energy audits last year and the year before, we were actually able to save 200,000 kbuh, which is the equivalent of greenhouse emissions if it was um, avoided by 49 tons of waste if they were recycled instead of landfilled. So this is something, uh, an initiative we think we know that really works. And if we introduce this app idea and put the energy audits online and working with them, we think this is something that can really make a difference. Yeah, I'm only 19. I just voted for the first time last year in the general election. 
and why it's so important. Even if you can't vote, you all have a voice. You all have the ability to make changes in your community, to make an impact. And I want to encourage all of you to do so. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't make a difference, because you absolutely can. So my name is Delaney Reynolds. I am a sophomore student at the University of Miami's Rose and Steel School. I'm studying marine science, coastal geology, and climate policy. So I'm very interested in climate change, and I actually also run a nonprofit about climate change to educate as many students as possible about the threats that we face, the science, and also what we can do to help in our day-to-day -day lives. Most of the time when I give lectures and presentations and talk to students and adults, that students actually have better and even more questions than adults. And that really shows me that there's hope for the future. Kids want to know what we can do right now to solve this issue that is destroying our community. And so it always gives me hope to talk to kids and to hear their concerns and to learn from them, learn what they're doing in their schools, in their communities. If we do work together, if we really do settle down and start to figure this out, then we absolutely can save our environment. The young people who have not yet had all of their ideas boxed in but are open-minded and visionary help us see all the areas of potential opportunity. So I, I think it's that and it's really to the, um, the powerful impact that young people have. Again, it's not just about the actions of a single individual, what you can do on your own, but the influence that your conversation has on others. And we've seen really great example from, from our young people about their um, community activism and the number of people that they're bringing along with them, and that's incredibly empowering. I definitely learned what different schools were doing uh, that are actually really good ideas. Some of the schools are saying that they were going to stop using the little plastic sleeves with the utensils in them and they were going to start using the utensils that you can recycle or wash. Uh, some were talking about shutting off the lights more, making um, automatic lights that will turn on and turn off when you walk out of the room. And I thought it was really interesting to see what they're doing and to bring those ideas back here to show the school what th little things that we can do to make a difference in the school. Uh, from the presenters that were there, I learned about really cool ideas that they have for the future and making cities more green and more environmentally productive. You know, adding more green space was one of the big things and kind of circling things around water and keeping that water clean. Personally, as president of the Environmental Club, we are trying to get filling stations at the different uh, water fountains throughout the school. We're looking, we can afford two. We've been saving up for many years for this because it is quite expensive, but we're able to do it and we think that that would really cut down on the amount of water, plastic water bottles used. I think kids would bring more of their own reusable water bottles and the school can sell reusable water bottles. So I think it's just a, like a positive overall. This is our earth and we want to make sure that it is prepared for the future. We want it to be exactly how it is now or even better. It's not just thinking about us and oh, you know, whatever happens in the future happens. Like those are going to be our future kids, our future generations that we have to worry about. It's all going to impact us eventually, whether it's 50 years from now or right now or even when we're gone. So it's really important to make sure that we take care of the place that we live because it's the only place that we have. It is our generation that is going to see this issue come to life. We're going to experience it. We're going to have to fix it. I honestly believe that the climate change crisis is the biggest issue that our generation will ever face. So it's crucial that we start to work together just like we are today here at the Youth Broward Climate Summit and actually solve this issue.